Hello YouTube fans, this is The Oscar Clown. I'm here to talk about, well, as you can tell from the title, The Flintstones and The Jetsons, the post-apocalyptic um, theory. Now, why do I think about this theory? In a spiritual and enlightenment way, this is what they try to tell you. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if this really did happen and we don't fucking remember. Um, I mean, for crying out loud, how many floods happen here, guys? Like, for crying out loud, this is the fourth ward. We're not in the third or second or first ward. This is the fourth ward. And sooner or later, it's going to be the fifth ward. We're in, we're in, we're heading to the fifth ward soon, guys. We really are. And this whole, um, post-apocalypse, um, theory about the Flintstones. Um, to be honest, I actually really like it. It really resonates with me. And I grew up watching the Jetsons and the Flintstones as, as a kid. And I really enjoyed those shows as a kid you know and i still like them to this day i like the you know the the way the art style looks in both of them and the way it's designed and everything like that you know like the flintstones um you know stone age and then the justin's um futuristic and all that which i like you know one of my favorite things but also you got to think that what they trying to tell you here with these two shows you know um i haven't i i think i haven't watched the movie of the flintstones and meets the Judsons, maybe I did as a kid, but um, I just can't remember right now. All I know is that this is what they try to tell you, the technology that we had back then, too. And, yes, starting over everything. I mean, for kind of loud, when you go through a, a first ward, second ward, and third ward, what do you have to do? Obviously, start all over. I mean, for kind of loud, what happens when those floods? What happens when the whole planet gets flooded? And there's people that survived after that. Well, you have to replenish the planet. You know, and for what I'm thinking with the theory here is that um maybe a long time ago that um maybe like the you know how we get floods and everything like that and then there has to be a new world. So I'm thinking that there was a flood that happened you know a long time ago. Oh, uh, again a post apocalyptic obviously with floods and all that and volcanoes and shit. Which is happening right now, you know, kind of, you gotta, you gotta think right now, because this shit is literally happening right now, too, which is kind of funny. Um, and, you know, the people that wanted to get out went to the sky, you know, went to the quote-unquote heavens, you know. And the people that didn't survive stood in the ground, got flooded, some of them died, some of them did not, did not. And the one that did not, um, the ones that did not replenish, you know, the planet down um on the surface while people up top lived um kept continuing to live on um you know like a sci-fi life basically you know um it kind of reminds me of the movie metropolis basically when um if you saw that movie metropolis you have the rich living on top you know being wealthy and worthy and everything like that then you have people down under that are slaves that are working for the system and everything like that and even um killing themselves for the system, you know, it's, it's a really, really good movie, if you haven't watched Metropolis, it's really enlightening and stuff, um, if you haven't watched it, but that's one thing that I could think of, too, of, like, the flood happening, and then, you know, some people moved, um, to the skies, and then not knowing that people did survive in the ground, and then they thought no one wasn't coming back, so there you go, you know, that's how you get the whole thing of, like, the Jetsons and the Flintstones being, like, um, we're from the future. Oh, you're from the past. And then it's like, oh, we're actually from the same timeline. And it's like, we're actually, this is happening live. Like right now, we're talking to each other right now. Like there's no, there's no future or past. This is present basically, you know? And it, it gets, it gets the mind thinking a little bit, you know? And this is what they trying to tell you. These, these are uh, Caucasian people, basically. These are, uh, People that work in Hollywood and all that and know our color history, um, Hispanic pe um, Afro-Hispanic people and black people history, like we barely even know our own history and these um, color people, I mean not um, these um, white people know because all the stuff that they research on us and the history that the cabal told them about or wa wanted them to put on screen because nothing can go out there without their permission, you know. So, obviously, they had to tell us what happened probably back in ancient times before, I mean, after all the floods happened, you know, and that all ended in the 1800s, you know, so who knows, this probably was 
the third ward, you know, before we hit the fourth one. Because, um, what is it? There will be, um, civil, um, like, other civilizations that said that, yes, we have fell. Um, not fell, but there has been floods many times in different wards, you know. Um, this is the fourth ward, while right now the fifth ward is lingering over us and is, and is coming. So, you know. So, this... Could this hap could have happened in the um, first ward or se well second ward probably yeah it could have happened in the first um first or second ward well mostly second because how could you that happen in the first ward if that couldn't happen with the floods and then all of a sudden oh you know we don't know who's gonna live on we don't know um oh those those uh what is it those we're above water and shit and it's like no you're not you're actually you know there's no water anymore it's all land now and and you know for the Jetsons and everything like that. And then for the Flintstones, it's like, oh no, we, everyone, you know, we just decided to start over, you know, and we can't use probably rockets. Who knows? There probably is rocket ships in the Flintstones, <laughs> you know? And if that is true, then that just shows a lot, you know, of the technology they have in the Flintstones, which probably connects more with the Jetsons, you know? Um, more connection right there, too, you know? And I always feel like, um, the bosses from Miss from Mr. Jetson and Mr. Flintstone, I feel like their bosses actually know each other and actually know what's going on, but they like to keep it a secret because they work for higher people in the government, basically, that like to keep that shit a secret. And I bet you anything there is a secret society in these two um franchises that they probably made. I know there's one, the Flintstones, I know that, but the Jetsons, I don't know. Kind of like in that Simpsons episode where um Homo goes into like a almost like a cult thing. Yeah, there's even pictures, literally pictures of people standing right next to dinosaurs. Literally, you can look this shit up on Google. Literally, guys, I'm not playing with you. So they're literally telling you either this has already happened or it's going to happen. Like they saw a timeline or something like that. But they have it in stones and on walls and stuff, you know, pictures and shit. So I'm guessing it really did happen, you know, and I wouldn't be surprised, you know. And then going back to these dinosaurs, some of them can talk, you know, and that makes you think like, are they a slave to household products? Are they being a slave to being household products? You know, because some of them look fucking goddamn miserable if you really see it. Seriously, and they make jokes about it. It sounds corny and shit, but it sounds like they're miserable. I mean, for crying out loud, back then, dinosaurs were not called dinosaurs. You know what they were called? You know what they were called? They were called dragons. We didn't call them dinosaurs until these fucking orcs came and decided to be like, oh, dinosaurs. Why, why do they want to separate dinosaurs from dragons for some reason, right? Why do they want to do that? Even though in ancient times, there was no word of dinosaurs. It was always dragon Dragon or Dagon, you know, like this is how you know who we were basically of color people. We were fish people, fish gods, and nagas, you know, um, snake cosmic serpents. And when you see these um dinosaurs in the show, it kind of reminds me of us, you know, like I'm not saying there's not like color people in the Flintstones and all that, but you kind of it kind of makes you think a little bit like. Is there, like, a lot of color people in the Flintstones? Just saying. No, seriously. Especially in the Jetsons. Seriously. Have you... Has anyone thought about this? No, seriously. It's not a gender-wise or anything like that. I'm just pointing this out. Like, I've never seen that before. Have you? I'm not saying there's not color people in the Flintstones and Jetson um, ward. But from what I can remember as a kid, I really didn't see them all that much. Oh, probably not at all. I'm sorry. That at least... If anyone can remember, refresh my memory. No, seriously, you know, um, who knows? I mean, I watched the Jetsons and the Princess so much. Uh, There's probably an episode that I missed or two or something, you know. But um, I guarantee you, um, Jetsons, um, Mr. Jetsons' boss and Mr. Flintstone's boss, guarantee you they fucking know each other. Gang fucking to you, and they know that this shit happen to them like a post-apocalyptic and they know that one lives in the bottom one lives in the top you know you're trying to basically how the government really is basically in real life trying to keep it a secret you know it's better to keep it a secret and let people on top think that everything's fucked up 
and let people think in the bottom that everything is still fucked up and we will never go back, basically. Even though everything's fine and we can and literally both can work with each other. The Jets like the Jetsons technology and the Flintstones technology can work together and go back to what we were before, basically. And that's where it was back in ancient times. We had technology, but we also was with nature all the time, you know? So that's what we need to go back to. And the fact that in this show, they try to separate us, and, um, well, separate the people in a way with, you know, going on top and then the bottom kind of reminds me of Metropolis movie. And it still happens today, you know? So, and a little bit thing about those, um, the dragons, the dinosaurs, basically, it's still speaks volumes a little bit because it's like these animal these dinosaurs quote unquote are talking and some of them don't like what they're doing <laughs> for kind of some of them are used to fucking move rocks and shit and it's like who put them in that position you know i know some people are going to say but this remember this show came out around the um you know the 60s and all that where a lot of people thought you know the war you know there was like a, a war happening so a lot of people thought that something like this was going to happen and it was all about fear. Of course, like, they wanted make, to, to make you think that this shit was going to happen, you know? But would it happen? I, you know, I wouldn't be surprised. Obviously, that's what they probably did wanted, these evil beings. But guess what? It didn't happen, you know? They like to repeat history, you know? So, in my opinion, this probably did happen, you know? And knowing how these evil beings are, they like to repeat history. Maybe they don't want to 100% be accurate of what it was, but at least be similar but change a few things, you know, just to be, or a, a quote unquote, I guess, different, you know, you know how these fucking idiots are, but, um, I guess that's it, you know, so don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and tell me what you guys think, I love this picture, by the way, though.